Hey what's up guys, in this video we are going to take a look at the Flying OS which is available for the Nexus 5. Flying OS is known for its smoothness and stability, so how does it stack up against the other ROMs which are available for the Nexus 5? The version of Android that we get along with this ROM is Android 4.4.4 which is quite stable and smooth. I'll be leaving the downloadable files in my video description and also step by step instructions as how to install this ROM on your Nexus 5. Relative to the battery life, the battery life isn't that much great though, giving you around 2 hours and 40 minutes of screen on time with heavy usage. The interface of this Flyme OS is totally different as it gives you somewhat an iOS look. Talking about the lock screen, when you charge your device, you get really excellent animation showing the battery has been charging. Swiping towards the left gives you access to the application which can be assigned as per your need. Swiping towards the right will bring up the camera option available. Related with the notification, you get your toggles where you can access the settings directly from the notification center. And also you can expand your toggles area where you get different toggles available. Multitasking is totally different. When you tap on your recent option, you get your multitasking icons. Tap and hold will lock the application and again doing the same will unlock the application. Swapping up will dismiss a single application and swapping down will clear all the applications at the same time. Now talking about the camera, you get 4 modes available, your auto mode, manual mode, panorama mode and scan mode. Below you will get your flash on off auto option available, your scene selection mode where you can select different kinds of scenes, front facing camera and also your camera settings. Going into your camera settings, you can toggle on the grid lines, level goals, your countdown times, increase or decrease the camera megapixel option from 1 megapixel to even 8 megapixel. Changing video size quality from 480p to 1080p. You will also have the option to pause your video recording or take photos while video recording. The application that comes pre-installed along this ROM is weather, memo, painter option where you can draw your drawings, game center, personalization where you can theme your phone according to your will by dollaring theme different kind of themes which are available online your security options where you can clean junk files virus scan and many more the folder that we get along with this rom gives an ios animation effect when talked about the settings i really like the settings layout which looks clean and flat the options that we get in our settings menu is customization where we can toggle on the fly style icons Theme our device by downloading different kind of themes which are available online and also you can download the wallpapers which are available online and much more. You also have your Flyme account option where you can sync your device with your Flyme account and also your Google Play account option is too available. You also have your network option, your Wi-Fi option, Bluetooth option, your sound settings, your brightness control where you have dynamic blurring which is real time background blurring. You also have your wireless display option available. When you go into your battery settings, you can toggle on the battery percentage or even you can see how much battery has been consumed or used. You also have your guest mode available which can be found in your security options. So these are the options that we find in our settings menu. Hope you guys like this video and if you do, please do give a thumbs up and also do follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Google Plus and also do remain subscribe to my channel for the more Android content and unboxing that I'll be doing in the near future. Till then, I'll be seeing you in my next video.